What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Harrison, and today we got to talk about the Redfall situation and kind of give my opinion on the whole matter. So it came out, I believe, yesterday that Redfall was going to launch at 30 FPS, 30 frames per second. And I guess in previews and stuff like that, uh, people had claimed that it was running 60 and it was supposed to be running on the Xbox, but evidently it was running on the PC. I'm not quite sure what the truth is. It could have been running on an Xbox at some point, and maybe it just wasn't ready because we we are getting 60 FPS a little bit later down the road. And I, I don't know. I, I the, the 30 and 60 FPS, the 120, all that stuff is I know it's been around for a long time. Right. But it feels like this generation is when when people have been so nitpicky about it and and. I'll talk about that and why I think they absolutely should be, but I don't think 30 to 60 FPS necessarily breaks a game, right? I, you know, I, I, I'm more of the mindset of let me play the game first. Does it run smoothly? Because, you know, back on like the 360 and, and PS3 generation, which was probably my favorite generation, we had so many great games and, and most of them, majority of them ran at 30 FPS. So yeah, would do they run better now that they've gotten, you know, updates like you know, Xbox has been so great about doing current gen updates for, for a lot of their first party games and stuff. And yeah, it, it absolutely plays better in 60. But I don't think it's necessarily a, a, a make or break situation for for me, at least. Maybe, maybe it is for you guys. But I, again, I just think that this generation, it's just been. I don't know, a, an extra kind of nail in the coffin for a lot of people when it comes to video games and, and again I just I don't quite know why but that being said I think it's BS and I think people should be upset and you know I'm a little bit upset because ever since this generation launched you know the the PS5 the Xbox Series X are supposed to be these super powerful machines right yet we constantly get either you you play the game at 60 with a lower, you know, the, the performance mode or the visual mode or fidelity mode or whatever you want to call it. You know, you play at 60, but the graphics are a little bit worse, right? You play at 30, but, the, you know, you've got the ray tracing and this and that. And obviously, you know, nine times out of 10, if not 10 out of 10 times, I'm going to choose the performance mode because I would prefer just for it to play nice and smooth versus, you know, playing in 30 and have like, you know, the, the fidelity a, a little bit better. When are we going to start getting games that can do all those things at once and not have to have a performance mode? Like, if these consoles are this powerful, why can't we run 4K60 at all times? Why do we have to constantly choose different modes? You know, and again, if I was a PS, I don't own a PS5 yet, but, and again, that's why I made that one video why people have home PS5s, I would be a little bit pissed off because. Now you're having Sony come out and say, you know what? We claimed that the PS5 was so powerful, but now, you know, we're having to pick and choose the games and, and how they run and their performances. We actually need a little bit more powerful, more power. So we kind of lied to you guys. So we're, here's here's the pro and we're going to fix everything. Right. And, you know, and Xbox is the same way. Xbox claims that they have the, the most powerful system. Um, and yet we constantly have to choose between performance and visual modes. And again, I think that's BS. So I think as someone who is curious about Redfall, I'm not completely sold and it's on Game Pass, so I'm definitely going to try it. I, I think they should have just delayed the game at this point, right? You know, they, they knew coming out and saying that it was going to run, you know, 30 FPS, that people weren't going to be happy. You know, it's, it's already, you know, people were already kind of on the fence about this game. Um, and what it is and, you know, it's it's online only and, and this and that. And I, I think they should have just delayed it with, with Star Wars Survivor coming out at the end of April. And then two weeks later, you've got uh, Breath of the Wild. I'm still not used to it. Tears of the Kingdom coming out. I think they're kind of sending this game to die. And, I, and granted, you know, they're, all three of those games are completely different genres. You know, you've got a, a soul like Star Wars game. You've got a first person shooter. And then you've got, you know, an action adventure RPG uh whatever um building simulator game now that we've seen all these crazy trailers for zelda but it kind of feels like they're setting it out to die 
and it's it's a shame because I think Arcane is one of the premier studios out there. And again, that's why I, I wait and see. Play it for yourself before you judge whether it's 30 or 60. Or if you prefer to wait, play to 60, wait until the update. That's probably going to come, you know, a few months later. But again, they probably should have just delayed it. Uh, I know that the Xbox probably didn't have a choice not to put it out because they would have gotten even more scrutinized than they already have with just not having any games. So, you know, it's kind of, you know, you're stuck between a rock and a hard place and I get it, but they probably should have just delayed it in the end. So please let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I would love to have a conversation about it. Um, yes, I brought up the PS5. I'm, no, I'm not an Xbox. I, I did have that one person comment that on like four of my videos that I'm an Xbox channel. No, I just, I criticize everybody, right? So, I, you know, this is not a console war thing. I brought up everybody, I critiqued everybody, and we should just, we all should just be mad that these consoles aren't as powerful as we initially thought, maybe, right? And it's always a good, it's always good to have a conversation about these things because we have conversations, companies hear us, and maybe they do better next time or, or they try to make it right. I don't know. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Consider subscribing to the channel. I'll let YouTube algorithm pick one of my videos below for you guys to watch. Give it a, give it a click and I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video.